time to name our Stally Hustle Award winner, and and I think one guy stood out above the rest. Yeah, we really like Putman. Um, number yeah, th- yeah, Kellen Putnam Put- Putman caught that touchdown pass. He got the interception. He made the the final big defensive play there for the for the Knights. He was all over the field. Yeah, he was. He played both sides of the football. Had as you mentioned, touchdown catch, huge interception. Yeah, right absolutely. when the game was in the balance with a big return that set up the second go ahead score. And I just thought uh, he made plays that were timely, and effective, and a key to the win. So. With Hunter, they'll send Putman in motion. Fake the hand off to Leaf. Hunter to the end zone, looking for Putman. He goes up and grabs it. What a spectacular catch by Kellen Putman. A 22-yard touchdown from Hunter to Putman. He climbs the ladder and brings it down. Well, this is exactly what Crestview didn't have last weekend when we saw them play. They really didn't have a passing attack at all. And you can see here, Carson Hunter, really nice touch. Puts a lot of air under this football, lets it drop right down on his receiver there, number three, Putman. And he, he does a great job of going up, high point in the football and making the catch. You get a little heated in there when you're just, you're, you're shoving one way, somebody's shoving the other. Well, a lot of times people are uh, punching the football too. That's where you get a fumble. Got to be careful. Henline hangs in the pocket, fires across the middle of the field. Oh. He threw it right to Kellen Putnam. Putnam on the interception and the return. Out to the 35, still on his feet down the far sideline. And he's brought down inside to Matt's heating and cooling red zone. Miscommunication between headline and I believe the intended target was Dylan Short. Putman undercuts the route. We'll take a look at it here on the replay. Henline gets hit too right as he's throwing the football. You can see, boom, he got hit. And uh, you're right, it, it looks like a little miscommunication. I think he thought Dylan Short was going to stop, and he continued to run. They'll send Nate Coulter in motion. They'll throw back to him. We talked about the potential for a double pass. I oh. believe they were trying it there, but the Crest Knights swallowed it up. Kellen Putman, the big tackle for loss for the Knights. Yeah, he's made several big plays tonight, Garrett. And you can see here, they were going to go for the double pass. As you mentioned, Coulter played quarterback last year and uh, certainly can throw the football. And there's number three again. 